many objects and uses in Thailand belong to the Western culture. Nevertheless, Thai people maintain strong traditions and peculiarities, which made them unique and make Thailand a country of tolerance and hospitality. Everything seems to be permitted, but at the same time everything has rules, which belong to a very peculiar social discipline. Thai means free and Thailand means land of freedom. The religion of the country is the Buddhism, but people practice the animism and the Hinduism at the same time. And the superstition has a very big influence in everyday life. So the foreigner, the so-called Farang, never has to be surprised for a philosophy of life which can be synthesized by the words live and let living, and that often for us joins together the sacred with the profane. In Pattaya's bars, as well in those of Patong, incense sticks are lighted and offers are made to the spirits of the land. They are placed in front of the main door in the evening, just before the beginning of the activity. It is often what is believed that the spirit will appreciate ice water, food, drinks, and even whiskey or other sort of booze. In Thailand, it is believed that every place, every single piece of land is governed by a spirit. Small temples are built to the spirits everywhere. They are called Samprapun. All private houses, all public buildings, hospitals, hotels and bars have one or more Samprapun, where beside the offers continuously renovated, images of Buddha and enlightened monks are kept inside. The girls in the bars care of the Samprapun and take turns to renew the offers to the lord of the place, who will protect them and their business. The style of the Samprapun may be different according to the taste, the place and the architectural design. These are spirit houses of a big hotel. People ask to the spirits favors and protection. The offers must be made daily before 11 in the morning. If a visitor remains for the night, the spirit owner of the place must be informed, begging his pardon for the disturb and for any possible lack of respect that the ignorance of the newcomer can cause to him. And when a new house will be built, the owner of the property asks to a Brahmin priest where and when the Samprapu must be placed. A ceremony will be organized to invite the spirit to accept the little temple as his new home. The basic rule is that the spirit house must be oriented to the east where the sun rises and that during the day it should never be shadowed by the new building. <laughs> The old spirit houses sometimes necessarily are removed when the new houses and establishments are under construction are temporarily gathered in one place. But they are still objects of devotion and respect by the people living in the area. When the spirit will move their residence in the new San Prapu, the old little temples will be left under a tree to be consumed by the time. I am in Central Thailand. I am the guest of a family during the commemoration of their death. The mother of the ten children, already adult and gathered for the ceremony, lights up some incense sticks to the divinity in front of her dead mother and husband and images. To make like this, because uh, they, they, they will get a uh, smile. My father and my grandmother were dead, we we'll have the same food we are giving to the monks, says Panarata, a child of a big family. The ceremony in Thailand is called Sang Kahan. The monks are passing each other a decisive, a thread which symbolically joins them during the mantra. 